All right, can you get a sound check? Sure. Uh, hello, everyone, and welcome to the Vortex. Where right. lies? Is that good? good? All right. You know, this, this is going to be huge. This is going to be uh, unbelievable. This is going to, April 20th, we're just like a few weeks away. April 20th, it's going to be big. Christine Niles, today's Tuesday, March 31st, 2015. Here are your latest church militant headlines. Kansas is poised to become the first state to ban dismemberment abortions. Both the state Senate and House passed a law banning abortion by dilation and evacuation, a procedure in which the baby is literally ripped to pieces while still alive. The abortionist uses a tool to grasp a body part, tugs until it's ripped from the body, and removes it from the uterus. It's the procedure used in 96% of all second trimester abortions. The bill now goes to Governor Sam Brownback, who's expected to sign it into law. Bishop Michael Campbell of Lancaster, England, is condemning a call to action, a liberal group that seeks to change church teaching and practice on things like women priests and priestly celibacy. According to the prelate, this particular pressure group has no approval or recognition from the Catholic Church in the Diocese of Lancaster. Bishop Campbell notes it's his duty to protect the faithful in his diocese from groups that try to misrepresent Catholic doctrine. And a call to action, he says, goes far beyond its self-proclaimed goal of mere dialogue, espousing positions contrary to the church. The Italian bishops are objecting to a bill giving legal recognition to cohabiting couples, including gay civil unions. The bill was approved by a Senate committee Friday and will now go to both houses in Italy's parliament for a vote. If passed, the bill would give gay couples the right to adopt and receive health care benefits, among other things. The Secretary General of the Italian Bishops' Conference criticized the bill as being, quote, an ideological stretch, reducing objectively different realities to one. A petition signed by nearly 50,000 Slovenians objecting to so-called gay marriage has been rejected by the government. After Slovenia legalized gay marriage a few weeks ago, becoming the 12th nation in the world to do so, Thousands of pro-family Slovenians circulated a petition asking for a referendum on the law, but the government rejected the voice of the people. The petitioners will likely appeal the decision to the Constitutional Court. The Archbishop Emeritus of Manila in the Philippines is condemning divorce, following reports on a recent poll showing 60% of Filipinos want it legalized. Cardinal Gaudencio Rosales responds, even if it is 99% surveyed who favor divorce, what is wrong is wrong. This stands in stark contrast to the current Archbishop of Manila, Cardinal Luis Tagle, who declared himself open to the proposal of communion for the so-called divorced and remarried. I'm Christine Niles. Those are your church militant headlines. Please watch The Vortex today, where Michael talks about moving mountains. Remember to share our headlines with your friends. See us on Facebook and Twitter. And may God bless you.